everyone. Hi. How are you? We're really dark today. We're all really dark today. How come? I don't think I turned on the overhead light. Would you like me to do that? Would you be so kind? I will. Aww. I'm a giver. So nice. Well, where are they? They're right there. <laughs> I mean, I could. It's, there's not enough coffee. Is today. the real problem. You know, I gotta fix this. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm sitting down. Hi. It's me again. Hi. Hello. Hi. I love security, you guys. Security I'm talking to them. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're really great. Hope you have a damn good morning. Also, happy fucking birthday to my husband. I love you, kid. Um, Is he watching? He, no. Mm -hmm. I don't even think. Although, and happy flag day. Happy flag day. Let's all raise a glass to freedom. Tomorrow, what's the next line? Raise um, a glass to freedom. Tomorrow they'll fade away. I no know. matter what they tell you, let's have another round. Oh, we've gone to a dark place and we just fucking started. I, I had a morning, okay? I did. And it's my fault Same. that we're late, usually, anyways, because. Well, I don't, I don't want to place that blame on you. I'm okay with it. It's always my fault. It's always you my have, fault. You have. A different kind of morning schedule than than, than most of most humanity. Of, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I I'm not that special. I literally sat up straight in bed and I was like, Dustin, drive me to the office! Like, no happy birthday, no anything. <laughs> it was just me screaming at him to drive me to the office. Because I was like, I'm going to bike in. It's going to be great. Everything's going to be perfect. And then it wasn't perfect. No. Uh, no. Just also, know. Summer. Hi, Summer. I just saw that you sent us a Snapchat too, so I kind of want to look at it. A little bit. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, so we're we're gonna talk about some things today. Um, we're gonna. <laughs> uh oh. Sorry, no, I'm just laughing because uh -oh. I'm like, we're gonna talk about some things today, and I'm like, are we? Are we actually gonna talk? It's gonna be hard because words are hard. I'm exhausted. Words are hard. I was so excited about my kids getting out of school, and now they're out of school, and I'm like, oh, you're still so busy. <laughs> Summer, oh, you are glorious. Summer. And all, so always. Beautiful. Your hair down, P.S. Sexy. I know. So sexy. I'm feeling weird about it. Don't, not gonna lie. <sighs> she feels weird about a lot of things. It's gonna be okay. It's been um, a weird morning. It has been a weird morning. I had a terrible night. I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning. My husband was not in bed. And so he couldn't sleep either? So, so both of you were not right. sleeping? So then he's in the living room snoring in a chair, which whatever, that's fine. So I am like, <laughs> Sorry. I know. I'm halfway through our book club book, Did You Ever Have a Family? Um, if anybody else is reading it, let me know. Um, I'm not allowed to read it. Yeah, I have decided Jill probably shouldn't. It's a little bit... It's pretty freaking tragic, if I can be honest with you. Um, I'm not. I'm not. You're good. just not in a headspace for that. Nope. I'm also, super not. I'm super sad. I missed the 2.99 special of our next book club book, Furiously Happy, and it makes me like not want to buy it at all. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I like what? that we're, we're just forget so it all or nothing. <laughs> forget it. Um, or maybe that's discounted or nothing. Right. I don't discounted know. Discounted or that's nothing. That's how we are. That's how I am too. Okay. Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta. Anyway, I'm tired is what I was getting around to. But you go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna be that. Cut me off. Do what you must. Tell me to shut up. One thing I've really noticed is like, in like watching these videos and also listening to us, we were guests on a podcast. We were guests on a podcast. I will link to it on the page today, by the way. Yeah. Um, I talk a lot. Shut me down. Okay. I thought I talked a lot. I I think it's me. Uh, well, you I think always it's seem me. charming and wise, and it's just like, <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> shut the fuck up already. I don't know that that's true. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. This hair is, feels like it's attacking me. Anyways, so we were going to talk about the Tonys this morning. A little bit. I mean, we have to. So, and I'm sorry if you hate musical theater, but then we're not friends, so. Okay, well, full disclosure, I've seen the Tonys probably three times in my entire life. Because I don't, I don't watch them. I don't know why. For a person who watches award shows. But I don't, oh, I like, mm -hmm. I, I watch the Oscars, and I we watch the Golden Globes. Yeah, I guess we don't really watch musical-based, like, 
the Grammys. You couldn't pay me to watch the Grammys. I, uh, I've i seen some of them. I like, you know, I mean, like. Yeah. So, and also I feel like I don't know enough about what's right. going on in the theater because oh, I, yeah. I'm, you know, poor and I live on the West Coast. West Coast so, well, yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, I will be honest that Hamilton is what got me to watch the Tonys this year. And James Corden, because oh, we love him. him, as we mentioned before. Bless James Corden. And I have to say that he, like, I guess in a good way, punched me in my feels oh. right off the bat. Yeah, that was cute. His little medley. His little medley. Um, one line medley. One line, but also... Loved it. Um, the, just the, his... His general theme, his or his running theme of the theaters for everyone. Yes, and I think that that was especially poignant and yes, uh, in light of yes recent events and yes, I don't know. It just yeah punched me right in my feels. It was really fun because my mom watched a really good portion of it with us. Oh, good. And like, things are kind of hit or miss with my mom. Like she either finds stuff funny or she's wildly offended by it and um I mean I guess that's any of us <laughs> I guess <laughs> I feel a touch more tolerant but that could be it could just be me um but she really got a kick out of it she got a kick out of the opening number she was, was giggling it was and good he did a good job she was so cute and then my daughter was watching with me and like when School of Rock came on which your daughter is so my daughter. My daughter is actually in New York currently, and we'll see School of Rock today She's on effing Broadway. So basically, we're jealous Ugh. of my fourteen-year-old in a way that's probably like rude. I actually was thinking about it last night. It may have been the thing that kept me up all night. Was it like may have. how I was like that kid is living our dream. She is. She is living our dream. And it's like, so, okay, so Tony's, I know that's where we were, but you guys, like, so she was in Washington, D.C. for the first few days of this trip, had a, a good time, but Sarah, she texted me and Snapchatted me yesterday, Mom, I'm so happy right now I could cry. Oh. Um, Just being in New York, she's like, I've always wanted to be here, like, it was kind of adorable. She took a picture of the Hamilton sign, which I thought she put on her story and she did not, so I didn't screen oh, grab it. Oh no! So I feel like a fool, um, which, <laughs> part for the course. <laughs> well, duh, that's just me yeah. on a regular basis. But she's so excited. She just loves every bit of being Aww. in New York. And I'm so excited that she's going to see School of Rock today, even though I'm insanely jealous. That is my greatest regret about when I went to New York was that we just did not have time to see a show. And that... I was 10 the last time I was in New York. I know. We got to get back, Jill. Should I we know. have like a friend anniversary trip or something? I think we should actually. And Lucy, shout out to Lucy, is going this fall. Ugh. And it, her trip, um, my anniversary is within the dates that she's going. Oh. And I'm like, sure, husband... I'm just going to leave you and go to New York with other people. I think that's a great idea. Oh, happy anniversary. I didn't take my husband to New York. I took my sister. She complained about walking. And I was like, you're going to need to shut up. Right. Because we're in New York. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm fairly certain that Whitney and Tanya and Carlene just joined us. Hi. But even though with glasses, there's still a light that makes my eyes go wonky. Aren't you glad we look pretty, though? I am. I know. I know. Um, so okay. the, the Tony's. Tony's super good. I loved it. Um, Hamilton swept. Hamilton swept. Let's talk about our friend Lynn manuel Miranda. And this sonnet. Made my mother cry. Yeah. I kinda, cried. It kind of made me. Uh, no, there was no kind of. Like, there were, like, full-blown tears. Yeah. Streaming down my face. And all I can say is, you are a goddamn national treasure. Lin-Manuel Miranda. I want a statue erected of you somewhere. Right. Um, but maybe not with your Hamilton hair because I feel like you're really insecure about it. Yes. But you're rocking it, honey. You're doing okay. Yes. Although, P.S., I do, like, he's super adorable with his short hair, too. Which, yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, you do you, Lin You do well. you do. You do you do you do. <laughs> a chew a chew a chew. <laughs> I got nothing. 
Um, <laughs> I was gonna sit here and laugh. This also, uh, he wrote a sonnet. He wrote a sonnet. Everything was about his wife being wonderful. Also, and that's that, like she's remember like, when our husbands liked us that much? That was great. Yeah. Those were the days. Currently, maybe not. Not so much right now. Um. <laughs> Also, she is adorable. I had never seen her before. To oh, be she is such a cutie. Not that it matters. I, I mean, and she she's could smart be... as a whip. She was a scientist. I know. We, I know. We're gonna tell and you. And now that she's story a again. lawyer. Well, to me, that's such an inspiration because, like, she was bored with science. She was be... bored with science. She was like, man, science. Yeah. I can do more. I'll also be a lawyer. And I'm just like, see, Lauren, look, you can do all the things. all the things. Actually, and you can still be a mom. Yeah. Because my daughter How thinks, old are they? Can I ask? Do you know? Um, Can I ask? Like, you care. <laughs> Lynn Manuel was born in the 1980, so... Okay. They are just 1980 even? Is yeah. Okay. Just a little bit younger than us. I'm not quite sure how old uh, his wife is. I think she's... It doesn't matter. Younger. I was just curious. But I really feel... Like, there are... Like, we all would have gone to high school together. Yeah. They are our, yeah. our generation of, of people, and I think that that's... Um, one of the, oh, well, I mean, okay, so when they had the in memorandum and it said that Patty Duke died. Right. My mom was like, Patty Duke, she was my age. And I was like, well, so was Alan Rickman, you dummy. And like, right. but she like she really didn't... connected to Patty Duke and, because, uh, yeah, I you know, that. and I think that's one of the things for me is. That's interesting. That this is a, them. yeah. Sorry. This yes. is a person that, like, is our age that is doing this really incredible stuff. And, I, like, I won't lie, like, there's a part of me that's like, I've wasted my fucking life. But there's also a part of me that is like, oh my god. It's not too late. It's not too late. And thank you, people of our generation. Like, thank you. The guy who, uh, the play that won Best Play was written by a 36-year-old man. Yeah. And everyone kept saying... He has so much more to do. We have years and years with him. Well, and I was like, yes! And I'm sorry, I will not remember anyone's names. But That's there okay. was uh, the actress that won Best Actor in a... In a play. In a play, and she was... At 67 or 68. And my mom, that was another thing. She was like, oh, look at her! Well, and it was her first Tony. It was her first Tony, and she talked about how... The, basically, it was 30 years in the making. 40! Um, well, she said something about 30 some. Oh. Maybe she said... Maybe she said something different with regards to that. I'm sorry. I don't know. But it was also very inspiring that you're just like, you know what? Be badass at whatever age you are. Right. And don't tell, you know, my aunt, my great aunt. Yeah. Um, she After she went through um, breast cancer and stuff like that, she... Um, she changed the way she did certain things, which which she was, she's always been kind of hell on wheels. She so really has. It's funny. <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> but she was wearing like fluorescent pink toenail polish. And she goes, I know people my age shouldn't wear. And I said, just, and she's like, but I don't care. And I was like, well, you shouldn't care. Word. Wear your fluorescent pink polish. And it was just, I don't know why that just stuck with me, but I'm just like, just be badass. Yeah. And it's a good reminder for I think so too. Oh, well, and I think like that a wild rumpus start is what start I'm saying. Some or be a unicorn. I am a unicorn. Um, I think that that's really the thing that resonates with me about Hamilton too is like that feeling of running out of time and like doing everything that you can. Yeah. And, um, the fucking older I get, y'all. Um, yeah. It it just kind of makes it. it it becomes more important to me to like get some shit done. And it also makes me really mad at 24 year old Sarah. Like I'm all 24 year old Sarah, get your goddamn head out of your ass and do your work. Like, right. You know? And so, and, and I'm hard on my kids with that. And I mean, my kid is nine, but she wants She's, to be, she wants <laughs> to be a writer, old, but you just gotta get your shit done. Well, right? I know she wants to be right a writer. Away. She wants to be, you know, watching the School of Rock uh, kids and stuff. She was like, whoa, kids can be on rock. Like, kids can do this. And so she sings with the Sacramento Children's Chorus, and she wanted to give up. She was like, I don't want to sing with the Sacramento Children's Chorus anymore. You know, the songs are boring. Blah, 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 blah. Her real complaint was she had to wear men's clothes because she has to wear a tuxedo in the um, performances. So for exactly 1% of her choir time, she has to wear men's clothes. 
Um, and I'm like, guess what? You get to get over it. But I can't see who joined us. Uh, so Gigi and Lucy, hi. Hi, guys. Good morning. Um, good morning. I almost said happy Monday. That's no, it's Tuesday. You're really having a morning. I God bless that I am. Anyway, let me finish my story. Yeah. I was saying good morning. That good morning. Not really. No, you're right. Um, <laughs> but I we we've made her do another year. Yeah. Because I want you know there is a Broadway series here for kids. There's um, music, circus, yeah. music circus and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, if you want to do this, you have to do the work. Yes. And so, you know, sometimes it's doing stuff you don't really like. Yeah. But you have to do it anyway to get the work done. And she yeah. wants to be a writer and that kind of stuff. Um, the Tonys were part of their sponsor, you know, part of kind of their sponsors were Carnegie Mellon uh, University. And that's where Leslie Odom Jr. went. And so we were talking about Lovely. Carnegie Mellon because she's like, she wants to go to Columbia because that was King's College where... Hamilton, Hamilton went. went. So she's like, I want to go to King's College. I want to go to Columbia. And I'm like, well, then you really better get your shit together. You, I mean, you, uh, you got to <laughs> do the, There's a lot of work to get into right. Columbia. It's, or, well, shit, any. Any school. Any school. They're apparently really getting the snack state. Who knows? Um, I like that you said snack state. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't, everyone there too. loves snacks. <laughs> so, because they're high. Um, just kidding. <laughs> Um, not true. Not true. Not true. Um, I'm getting out the iPad so I can see. We're who's so blind, y'all. Talking to us, and I honestly, I just got new glasses. I shouldn't be this blind, but it's just the way How the light. How cute are her new glasses? P.S. Oh well, thank you. They are the cutest. I enjoy them. I pick glasses based on how they look, as I should, like how, right. how they fit on my face. But it's very. These are juicy glasses, and I had to come to terms with that after I picked them out. Right. That is, that, I would have a hard time with that, but it doesn't say it anywhere that I can see. I don't know, does it? I don't know. It's not on my ass. That's all I know. Well, and thank God for that. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, what else were we going to talk about? Um, well, <laughs> I'm all, how much do I want to, like, how sad do I want to get? Um, don't make me cry on TV today. Okay. So... Obviously, it's been a little bit heavy in the world. Um, yes. And so, <laughs> being apart from my kids, um, are you were you completely panicked on some level? Um, no, I wouldn't say I was completely panicked, but it's hard enough to ship your kids off in some way, shape, or form. Right. Move them to a new location. It's it's very very hard. Um, I'm not saying anything new. Obviously, it's hard. It is what it is. Um, but in light of everything else, it made it a little bit harder. Yeah. And to, you know, one kid is across the country um, where shit happens Word. <laughs> on a regular basis. Word. Um, and, then, and, and then to ha go through this new milestone in my oldest life where we're moving her to the Bay Area because she has this really great internship. A paid internship, y'all. Because she's because she's so smart and she's so pretty. I actually don't think the pretty has anything to do with it. Well, she for me is. it does. She is pretty. Um, so, it, yeah, it was just, it was just a lot. And it was very hard for me. Um, I hadn't talked to my kids about what happened in Orlando when we started watching the Tonys, and so Lauren was confused. Oh, yeah. And during the commercial break, she was like, because, you know, they opened with um, a thing where they were talking about, you know, uh, love to Orlando and how the theater community was with them. And, um, and then people kind of brought it up, and when uh, Lynn did his love is love is love is love is love, um, then that really um, struck me. I was crying, and so during the commercial break, she was like, what happened in Orlando? And um, yeah, having to tell her that a deranged human, yeah, you know, mowed down people for being themselves, for being who they are, for enjoying their life. Well, um, and also, it was very... In the, in the name of God. 
Um, his God. His God. My God doesn't do that. My God doesn't do that either. Um, that was that's a really hard thing to talk to your nine year old about. Um, well, it's hard to talk to your, um, you know, eighteen right. year old about. It's just, hey, the world's gonna really suck sometimes, and there's a bug flying at your face. I feel like it's trying to be funny because we're so sad. Um, I don't have time for this bug. So, and I'm sorry we're kind of bringing it down a little bit, but it's also just, that's just yeah where we are right now, and I think well, that it's hard like, to... Like, what did you guys that have a little bit older kids, what did you say to your kids? Like, how did you talk to them about this? Because it's, my daughter, like, I, already, my daughter has had a huge crush on a gay boy. <laughs> That's actually true. I feel like this is going to be her lot in life where... I mean, it might. It might be. So, I mean, I feel like these are going to be kind of the people that she is always with, which is fine, and it's great, and I I, I want... I would be so happy with that, but... um, it, How do you... Like, how do you talk to your kids about stuff like this? How do you talk to your kids about, you know, the biggest mass shooting in American history mm -hmm. and a government that won't do a fucking thing about it. Um, how do we do that? How do we talk to our kids about the goddamn NRA? Um, and I'm, this is 100% my opinion. I'm not putting any of this on Jill. This is me. But the NRA needs to fucking go away because there is no reason that a human being can go and purchase something that is meant for nothing more than killing other human beings. There is no reason for that. None. And I am sick and tired of nothing being done about it. And I'm not going to stand for that anymore. And I'm going to get really fucking loud about this. Because I don't want to be scared to send my kids to school. And I don't want to have to hear about my kids, my kindergartner, having having to practice when there's a live shooter on campus. Yeah, that one, that would actually like... Like, what are we doing? And I am calling out to you guys. I am calling out to the other moms. It is time to get fucking loud about this. Because I am done. I am done with people getting killed for no fucking reason. And I am done with people being able to have guns that are meant for nothing else other than warfare. I am done. I am done and I'm gonna get loud and I need you to get loud with me because we gotta get loud together or else nothing is gonna change and this is not the world I want for my kids. We have to do better. We have to do better. And I'm really sorry, but I'm not because I'm angry. I'm really angry. And I'm so sad. And I can't, those text messages those mothers got. Yeah. That, that actually is the hardest for me right now is the, is the moms getting these text messages and not being able to do a damn thing. No. Um... And I think that as a mom, um, not that you have to be a mom to have compassion for anyone. I, I'm not saying that at all. It's just thinking of those mothers as they went through this is the hardest thing for me. Um, and it's the hardest thing to have um, my children outside of my home right now. Like that's... Yeah that's I have zero control over what happens to them right now and it's a very weird place to be it's a very um it's hard enough it's hard enough to uh, you know send your daughter off to college in light of all the things that go on and be like here here's some ways to not be attacked or raped and that's hard the world is hard and here I know that most of the time we really do try to keep things joyful and light because there is so much heavy in the world and there is so much that you could um to focus on that you could i mean you could just be sitting 
in your house doing nothing because there's so much that could terrify you. But it's also okay that we recognize that life is shitty and um, sometimes it's not, I don't know, well, I didn't mean to be so dramatic there, well, but I think that it's okay to, to have these moments of, mm -hmm. I'm really sad and I'm really upset and I'm really having a hard time with this. Um, I don't think that's wrong. And I don't think, and I'm, and again, I know that we're usually dopey and I mean, we're still all those things. It, I will say though, it was so hopeful to see the community of the Tonys and that kind of stuff. It was so, um, it was so awesome to see that entire community come together. Yeah. And it, I will say like the outpouring of love is incredible. Um, but it shouldn't have to be like, we shouldn't have to do this. We well, just and I also think that, um, yeah, no, we shouldn't have to do it. Sorry, no. I wasn't disagreeing with you on that. We shouldn't have to have those these moments of complete helplessness and and anger. I mean, I, I know that the world is what it is. It, I know that. Right. Um, I am a firm believer that the world is filled with more good than hate. I am a firm believer that's, I don't care. That's, that's how I live my life. Um, and that, right, and, and the same. Their love, like, love wins every time. Every time. And my job is to pump as much love into the world as I humanly can. And I think that's one of the reasons why we love what we do. Yeah. Um, I know it sometimes seems completely pointless to get up or, you know, whatever, Tuesday mornings we're here chatting like we're, you know... Like, I don't know. It's just, it's our way of it's, bringing joy to the world. It's one of my favorite parts of the day. And it's, and if it's only us that gets a kick out of it, then cheers to I'm that. okay too, but I just love you guys. I love this community. I love that you're here. Oh, Stacey. Aww. She says, hug Sarah. Thank you. Don't make me cry, Jill. I kid, sorry. I, I'll try not to. <laughs> oh, Jenna, good morning. We hope you have a wonderful day too. And a kissy face back to Lucy and Whitney. Hi, Gigi. And Carlene says, I'm with you. And thank you, Summer. I love my glasses, too. They're pretty great. Um, so let's talk about my husband's birthday. I'm ready. Because I'm going to eat a whole bunch of food today. So you guys are going to? We are going to South today for lunch. It is a restaurant in downtown Sacramento. Um, and it is fried chicken and um, <laughs> soul, food. soul food, comfort food. Um, their fried chicken has ruined all other fried chicken for me. Yes. Because it's like, it's a drug. Like, it's yes. amazing. Um, they also have <sighs> kale that is bordering on sexual. And that's a weird thing to say about, about kale. kale. But it's the best right. kale I've ever had in my life. Um, so today we're going to try their barbecue platter. We've never tried that before. We're also going to do some fried chicken. Um, Are you going to bring me some fried chicken? I can. I think we're going to get a bucket. So there's no way we can eat that. I mean, piece of if you're going to get a bucket of chicken, I might as well eat my feelings I'll bring, that way. Right. I'll bring it. I'll stop by. Bring it over. Um, but I'm just really excited because that's like the only thing he wanted. He was like, I just want. <laughs> to go and eat fried chicken, and I was like, okay, I, that sounds right. I to can me. make that happen for you. So we're gonna go eat fried chicken and celebrate my husband being born on Flag Day. Um, I'm excited about it. I mean, it was funny because we talked about Flag Day and your husband's birthday. Yeah, I like that it's on the same day. I don't know why. Well, it's really useful for me for remembering. I know. What day his birthday? Well, that's right, because you were like, is that wrong? And I'm like, well, no. Yeah. I mean, we use landmarks to find places. Right. Like, when we're directionally challenged. Well, and what's really funny is, so, me and both of my kids are born on the sixth the day of the month, and um, he always gets the months wrong. He's like, Ben's <laughs> June 6th, right? And I'm like, no, July. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm like, I thought it would be so easy for him. <laughs> Like, to have it all be on the 6th, you know? I mean, but it's not. 
It's not easy. Uh, dads. Those dads. Those dads. Such nuts. But I have a really hard time remembering his birthday. I had a roommate whose birthday was the 13th. And so for the longest time, I was like, was oh, your birthday's the 13th. And he's like, no, it's not. We've been married for eight years kind of thing. Um, so I'm finally, I, know. I got it right now. I got it right. But we're going to go eat lots of food. Um, we're going camping this uh, right. next week. So next Tuesday, Jill will be flying solo. Um, maybe. Who wants to host with me on an early Tuesday morning? I know you do. I know Thursdays are more fun because we drink wine. They are, but I will be here for both of them. So. Um, maybe I'll grab my sisters. Oh, that'd be fun. We should do that. 7.30 in the morning. Will they do it? Will they do it? Will you do it, sisters? I see one of my sisters has joined us, I think. Yeah. She was here, at least. <clears throat> maybe she's not here anymore. Um, she might have. She's like, she's all, I'm out of here. She's all sadness. Get, I'm getting out. See you later. That's okay. You know what? I'm okay that we got sad. I know. Um, what are your plans for this week? Sarah, that's a really hard question. I know. Have you been avoiding your bullet journal because you have so much to do? Mm-hmm. 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 Same these. And it's, we're, it's real hard. You guys, tell me how stupid I am. It's fine. <laughs> Just say, Sarah, you're stupid. <laughs> So we have a two-day wedding this weekend up, like, in Mendocino County, okay? We're in the woods. <clears throat> and by two-day wedding... We're there Friday and Saturday. We're shooting, like, their rehearsal dinner and their guests arriving and that kind of stuff. And then we're staying yes. with them at, like, this camping place. And then we're shooting their wedding the next day. So our friends, Lisa and Jeff, we go camping with them every summer. They <laughs> convinced me... That they will pick up our kids on Sunday morning and just meet us to go camping <laughs> after we've shot a wedding for two days. I mean, I love it. I'm going to go camping. Okay, but here's my challenge for at you. At Salt Point State Park, which I've never been to. So if anyone has any experience with Salt I, Point, I talk to me that. about it. It's below Sea Ranch. Really? Yeah. So we'll be close to where our home will be when we're old. Yeah. We have plans. Um, we're going to have a commune. Mm -hmm. We'll have plenty of room for all of you. Ladies only. But ladies only because once our husbands kick the bucket. Later. Um, we're not going to kill off our husbands, by the right. way. Well, it depends on how argumentative they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to kill off my husband. I make you no promises. <laughs> Anyways, we just have this plan that we'll just have this old lady commune. Yeah. Sea Ranch. Aunt sea Ranch. Our brittle bones. And we'll maybe we'll marinate may in white wine. It'll be great. Maybe we'll have like our own medical staff that we'll need oh, at the time. I'm so all about having our own medical staff. I mean, then we just don't have to leave. It could be our own retirement. If I get home. a hangover, they just give me a banana bad. Yeah. I'm into it. I'm into it. I mean, I'm just saying it's it's, it's a thing. I couldn't agree more. <sighs> I can't see everybody's comment, so I'm trying She's to. She's really having a hard time. Lucy, I'm trying. Summer, you guys have written us some pretty long and beautiful things. But it won't pop up here. Oh wait, you're go it's because it's right there. Um <laughs> Lucy says can we talk about how lame I am and how I panic every time because I have to remind myself this is Facebook Live and not FaceTime and you guys can't see the mess I'm getting as I'm getting ready to tune in. Um, also, that's really funny. Hilarious, Luce. Um, I'm not looking at you getting ready. I'm not. Not this time. So. I'm not a peeper. God. I'm not. Um, I'm not. Anyway, so camping. Camping, y'all. Okay, and I had a challenge for you. What's my challenge? We got distracted with Sea Ranch. Um, to actually unplug and relax. Uh, well, I have no choice. We're in the middle of nowhere. No, but you actually have a, you're real good about not relaxing. I am really good about not relaxing. And I can say that as a person who kind of does the same thing. <sighs> it's just really hard. Uh, and all I can, like, I'm, I get super panicky about Stuff being on time. I know, I know. All that and my, um, yeah. It's hard yeah. running your own business because it's like, well, this is the thing that feeds my family and like right. why we can live in a house and drive a car right. and all that kind of stuff. And so even taking like three days where I'm not maintaining constant vigilance with right. my work is really, really hard. Well, and I promised my kids I would try not to work on Sundays. 
just because they're like, remember when you were our mom and like we saw you and stuff? You're a mom? I know. I know. Yeah. Um, I understand. Because my daughter, did I tell you about my daughter? She was like wanting to go somewhere on Sunday morning. And I was like, no, I'm going to be home. Like, I want you to hang out with me. And she's like, you're just going to ignore me and do your work. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not right. going to do that. It was a burn. Damn. Um, so, yeah, I got to get better at this um, life balance bullshit. We'll see see how that goes. Yeah. Not well. Not well. We're going to try. Them. But um, I think, I don't know. Are we talked out? Well, I think that we're... I think so, I brought everybody down, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel a little bit guilty that we brought everyone down. And so I'm like, now if I say anything happy, I just sound like an asshole. A little but, bit. So yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I don't want to leave it negative. We're not. I'm going camping. That's know, the best Sarah's thing ever. Camping. Hopefully I won't get eaten by a bear. I have. I feel good about that, that you're not going to. Fingers crossed. I'm just saying. Because being eaten by a bear is... Pretty odd. If we've learned anything from Leonardo DiCaprio, it's that a bear attack is not fun. No. Um, but it can yeah. be a, a, can, a great movie. I mean, I don't know. I didn't see Actually, it. I didn't see it. Either. I'm not going to watch that. You're certainly not going to watch no, a bear attack. come on. You're too sensitive. Good gracious. No, I'm not going to do that. Anyways. No. All right. So here's the deal. Yes. I realized we brought things down a little bit today and it was necessary. Absolutely. Because it was just, it's, it's been a hard few days for many reasons. It's, it was heavy and I'm sorry. But not sorry, because I think it's right. time to get mad. No. I think it was time to get mad at fucking Sandy Hook, but. Well, no. I wasn't saying that. I just meant on this particular. All right. On this, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm always, I'm sorry. I'm militant and angry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so many feelings, and I don't know where to put them. Uh, on Facebook Live. Clearly. <laughs> Thanks, Facebook Live. <laughs> but what I was saying to you is this. We made a commitment, actually, when we started this on we our, took an our oath. Um, on our uh, morning chats, the cozy couch chats. Blood oath. Go ahead. It was actually during a time when things were also heavy. Yes. Um, things are just gonna be that way uh, throughout our lives, and we made a commitment that we would bring some joy into the world. Yes. And so I would just love to hear about your joy. Tell me something good. Tell me. Or tell us. I mean, not just me. Tell us something good. Tell us something joyful. Spread some joy today. Make someone's ha some you know smile at someone. Make them happy. Make do something to 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 just bring some joy because there there are so many things to be sad and and let's let's just be happy today because I'm gonna eat fried chicken. That's my yes. happy today. I'm going to be happy for you. Fried chicken. I am not going to eat fried chicken today, but perhaps tomorrow Maybe. if you bring me yeah. a chicken bucket. I can do that for you. Um, But also know that we love that you guys are here. We love that you guys join us in, our, in the mornings. Like, it actually makes our day. That's I true. love knowing what you guys are up to. I know, and maybe that makes me nosy, but I love every bit of this. And so I'm really, really grateful that all of you are here joining us and it brings joy to us and I hope we bring a little bit of that back to you. And hopefully Thursday night will be a little less heavy and a little more drunk. So see you then. <laughs> oh, promises. I Anyways, know. Have a good week, everybody. Sarah's going to turn off the video, so oh. I'm just going to keep talking to you. Oh, thank you, hearts. And who was that? That's Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a great Tuesday.